Welcome to Kazar Spotlight of the Month Television Show. Welcome to Kazar's Spotlight of the Month TV Show. Who will be this month's Spotlight Entertainer? Sit back, enjoy, and tell a friend to watch Kazar's Spotlight of the Month TV Show. I'm here today with my uh, celebrity actors in the DMV and abroad. Welcome to the show, sir. They call me the king of DC media because I've done practically everything. I've, uh, I've been on the stage, I've done independent films, I currently write uh, theater reviews for DC Metro Theater Arts. I have a show called uh, Inside Acting, which is a podcast. I've been doing that now seven years, over 300 episodes. I have a new show called uh, the Inside Acting TV Show, and that I do that through uh, Greenbelt Public Access. Okay. Uh, I've done commercials. I've done practically. Every, I've done voiceover. I've done just about anything anybody can do. I, people see me as an influencer. I'm all about influencing people, and the reason why I'm even in this business is it started out with as a performer, but I really I'm all about trying to lift people up. Just That's trying to get everybody lifted up. It's good to be. <laughs> all right, <laughs> right. My next guest is the celebrity um, actor, host, chef, Mr. Lamont Easter. <laughs> Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, thank you. Tell us a little bit about what you do, and I know you're working on a house of cards and some other stuff. Some other yeah, I've done, done some of that in, in the past, some of the bigger productions that have come through. Okay. Um, I spend a lot of time now working on independent, um, commercial, print, um, hosting. Um, I'm kind of... All over, all over the, all over the map, um, and at the same time, it gives me a platform and a voice to do philanthropic work and and, and do work with with the community. So, awesome, awesome. And we have a, a singer, best-selling author, actor, <laughs> casting director. What else can I add to you, <laughs> Mr. D. Muhammad? Welcome to the show, sir. Hey, thank you for having me. And, um, one of my friends, I took them to their rehearsal. Okay. And I was waiting in the lobby while they was rehearsing, and the lady that wrote the play came out and asked me to be in her play. I told her, I said, well, I never acted. But she said, well, I know you sang, and you've been in the stadium and all that. I said, yeah, I sang. Okay, I tried. <laughs> After the third performance of the gospel play, A Change Is Gonna Come, mm -hmm. I was hooked. Wow. I was hooked. And then a change came. the entrepreneur in me, because when I got into the acting part, because I love being on stage and all that, but then the entrepreneur in me say, well, at my age, if I'm going to do this, then I need to be the best I possibly can be. Mm -hmm. So I got into a, doing a lot of in-depth research on the actors that I respected the most, like Denzel, Sam, Forrest Whitaker, um, uh, De Niro, yeah. Pacino, all these people. The one thing that I found consistently throughout was all of these premier actors that we see on film, a lot of their backgrounds came out of the theater. Yeah, yeah. And when I looked at various um, interviews that they did, various things that they wrote about their acting experience that got them to where they were, they all consistently talked about how being in the theater was what really made them phenomenal actors because mm -hmm. they had an opportunity to, to do some in-depth character development script analysis mm -hmm. and the commitment that you have to make to a character made it easy when they got to film and television. Mm -hmm. So the first seven years of my career, I just did stage mm -hmm. all the time. Oh. Um, so then when I decided to make the transition <clears throat> to film and television, then I started looking at what teachers were accessible to me so I could really learn how to be on camera. Because mm -hmm. I saw that Mentorship and learning from people who are the best at teaching it and the best at doing it helps shorten your curve of becoming better. Yep. So I sought out people like Stephen Mitchell, John Pilata. Um, I even did online courses, you know, like um, Kevin Spacey. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing one now, actually, because one thing that I believe is that no matter how long you've been in this business and how seemingly successful you are, in order for you to become better, the more information coming from people who are very successful at it. And, not, and to me, just to, as a note, success is not defined by how much money you're getting, but the quality of the projects that you're involved in and the quality of your performance that makes an audience feel. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And so those things that are important to me. So I'm constantly trained. Awesome. You know, so. Awesome. Cool. All right, next we have, is it Sergeant Major, retired Sergeant Major? Retired Sergeant Major. Sergeant yeah. Major, technical, military technical advisor. Yes. Superstar. <laughs> Listen, <WQ thank>. Scott. <laughs> Um, you have a regular role. What is it? General House of Cards? Yes, General Henning, House of Cards. Welcome to the show, sir. Also, um, um, you're carrying co host for KZI Spotlight of Month. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tell us a little about what you do, sir. Well, um, for many years now, I've been an actor. Okay. Uh, I retired, retired military sergeant major. Um, before I uh, got out of, well, during high school, I got into acting. And when I joined the military, I did theater. So I did theater for several years, and about five years before I got ready to retire, I did my first film. And so, uh, and it's been ongoing ever since. And like a deep, I believe that um, I, I at least do a play. I still do plays at my church. Actually, I'm doing a play for uh, Easter right now. We're mm -hmm. in rehearsal for a play. So I do, I too believe that uh, that strong theater background is what makes you a better actor. And just like I, I tell my, my family members, if you want to grow and, 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 and become better, you got to educate yourself. You got to keep on educating yourself if you want to get better. Mm -hmm. And so with acting, there's so many technical things about it. Um, you know, we can talk about the media, we can talk about, but I'm, I'm talking about getting in front of, you only got a minute or two in front of that casting director working on that performance. Right now I'm doing a, a course that, that's going to help me build that in itself as far as getting in there and, uh, and, and doing, doing the character and being able to present a great performance. Okay. That's awesome. Next up we have Mr. Tough Guy himself. What's, <laughs> the, what, what is the, what's the term? The best tough guy that you can pay. Best bad money. guy money can buy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there it is. Superstar himself, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Lion Beckwith. Beckwith, absolutely. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the show, sir. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you what you've worked on. I, I know you're all over the place. Yeah. And by the way, I, I've seen everybody's IMDb page. I know the credits. You know. <laughs> Tell us what you're doing. Um, let's see. Well, I mean, uh. A lot of people know me from Den of Thieves, okay. uh, played 50 Cent's cousin in it. Um, he was married into a Polynesian family. Um, uh, so a lot of people recognize me from, from, from that movie. I've done, I have 51 movies and TV credits yeah. um, to my name, um, a few shorts, so on and so forth. Um, I just did a, um, a um, principal role, speaking role on uh, Wonder Woman 2, uh, WW. 84, okay. um, which comes out next year, uh, June 5th, 2020, so everybody see it. And what I'm going to do is um, when we do the premiere in L.A., I'm definitely coming back home, okay. um, yeah. Baltimore, and we're, we're doing a, um, I'm going to do my own version of a premiere okay. there okay. So, so everybody can come and, and, and see the movie. <laughs> because it's, it's not just a win for me, yeah. it's a win for the whole DMV. Yeah, you know? sure. It may be... Uh, Maybe Kaza a spot of the month to him on the scene. To Absolutely. Some. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We can, we'll sneak you in the back door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll buy y'all tickets in advance. So y'all don't sneak But yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and just, just to piggyback on these, these great fellas, um, you know, the, the thing about me, really, with my, my situation, my, my acting is where I came from. Hmm. Because I'm, I mean, I'm from the gutter dirt of, of projects of Baltimore City and the whole thing that I'm really trying to get people to understand is if if I can do it anybody can do it uh, absolutely, absolutely. And, um, cool next we have gospel artist singer <laughs> hello say acting coach yes superstar actress herself <laughs> yeah award-winning actress yeah doctor yeah. Rogers, welcome to the show. Hi. Doctors, Hi. Hi. tell us about what you do. Well, my name is Dr. Tammy Rogers, and uh, as you listed, I do a lot of things. But I got into acting, um, somebody had written a play when I was 20 years old. Okay. And they said, uh, could you be in it? And I was like, play? Oh, okay, I guess I can do it. So, and 
that was 32 years ago <laughs> and I'm still doing it. Um, the last six years I've, I've branched off and went into um, film. Okay. Which I, so I love both of them. So I'll piggybacking on what you were saying about theater. It's, it's just nothing can replace theater. That instant <coughs> gratification of the audience and just the energy mm. is just something you just don't have in film. Because in film, you can say, cut, let's do it again. Oh, but that? when you're on that stage, oh, it's, do, it's or do or die. Yeah. Yeah. It's do, do or die. die. Yeah. It's no cut, let's you redo it. Totally it's, committed. it's nothing. Yeah. It, you got to do it. So, now, just to be fair to um, those actors that haven't had the theater background. Mm -hmm. um, Hold on, let me let me throw out there. I've had theater. I just don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I just don't no, like it. Okay, so I, 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 got, I got write ups and excellent reviews <laughs> from my from my play days, and because I wanted to be well rounded, and that is a note to people that mm -hmm. if you're getting into this business, yes. you yes. should definitely be well rounded. Exactly. Yes. and that's what I did. Right. I said, let me do some plays. So mm -hmm. I so because I did hear a lot about theater, as yeah. you guys yeah. were saying. Yeah, so exactly. I was like, let yeah. me do it, and I actually got really good reviews, which I mean brought me to tears that you can Google to the day. Right. Okay. But I was just like, I don't, I don't like, like this. this. <laughs> I don't like this. Yeah. I want to be able to mess up. <laughs> See? Go to the next That's being honest, and, 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 It's so time consuming. Yes, yeah, exactly. it is. Yeah. All the rehearsals, yeah. yes. Give me yes. my script, and I'll see you <laughs> when, we're, when, when we, we start shoot. filming. Start filming. Exactly. Right, exactly. Right, exactly. All right, so I started in theater, right? Um I got typecast as the cop, always the big cop. You know? Okay. Yeah. okay. And I'm, I was okay with that. You know, okay. You know the funny thing about it is, you know, we would always mingle with the audience before we would actually start. Yes. And I got some really nasty looks a few times. I guess Because so. they thought I was the real cop. Exactly. Right? Because okay. I used to be once upon a time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? So, and Type I was cash. like, I was, yeah, exactly. And I was like, this is funny. I can't, I can't wait until I get on the stage because mm -hmm. I just want to see their expressions afterwards. But typecast is not really a bad thing it's like not. it used to yeah, be because not. now you can flip your typecast and make it your brand you can that's right can. which which which, right. Is, which i've done since you brought up like mm -hmm. the bad guy thing best bad guy money mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you then gotta make it work man i yes. like that. i've made my brand yes. based off of that i made exactly. my career exactly of mm -hmm. exactly you know and um you can't you cannot post on facebook Oh, looking for an intimidating bad guy <laughs> without <laughs> my name. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, flying back with flying back with flying back with. Yes, yes. It's exactly. all about your brand. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, even, it is. A, even a deep here. Um, I used to call him the theater warrior mm -hmm. because he did so many plays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm going to put on my filmmaker hat, film film producer hat. Um, <clears throat> I love theater. I loved acting in it. I love um, film also. One of the struggles that I find is you have some things that stand out in a, in a, in a film, in a, a stage play or actor. A lot of hand movements, a lot of over exaggeration because you got to arrange people all the way in the back. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Right. And right. I, yeah. I totally get it. Mm -hmm. As a transition, so being well rounded, around you got to be able to transition. Mm -hmm. Also, well, bring that's it where, down. That's where, to me, that's where the training comes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, tell you, yes. like, like a lot of people say, "Oh, I'm just a natural." Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> you may be naturally talented, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but there's a different application of skills yes. Yes. when you're on stage yes. and when you're in front of the camera. Yep. Correct. Correct. Yes. Correct. Yes. You know. So right. You have to have that discipline. You, have, you have to be able to mm -hmm. do the yeah. discipline. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to shift a little bit. Um, actually, all of this is, pertains to what we're talking about, the uh -huh. mindset mm -hmm. and the grind of the actor. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is an open open forum, so I'm going to ask a question and just set time in because it pertains to all of us. Mm -hmm. all right, so what do you love most about being an actor? And how, do you, how does that impact your personality and your daily life? I mean, you get to change the world. I mean, life. Some people say, "Well, is is art a support system for for life, or vice versa?" I think art can be a support system for life. Um, we get to touch so many lives, and we tap it. We all have an imagination, mm -hmm. and you know, when I used to be on stage, it was all about the audience. It was all mm -hmm. about the audience. I'm here to just be a conduit, a conduit of what that playwright wrote, 
mm -hmm. and just be mm -hmm. a conduit of that and just be a blessing to the audience. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's no feeling like it. When it goes right, yes. we are on that stage yes. and it goes right. <laughs> yes. There's no feeling like that in the world. You, you, yes. can't, you can't compare it to anything else. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy that you felt like that because I, 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 I. Here we go. Here we go. Because, you know, he was the best man in that money to get back. And he was like, this is about the audience. And I felt like it was about me. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're a movie star. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I was like, this is my time to shine. You know, so, so I'm going to throw this out there. I said this earlier, but it, there's, there's no way. That, that you can anyone can tell me that they're an actor and they don't want to be seen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, you mm -hmm. know, like like I I here's the thing. I fell into acting. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't something that, that I expired to be yeah. or anything like this. I, I yeah. Welcome to the club. Was, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Some, some, right. Someone felt like I yeah. had a unique look, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and came to me yeah. and this and another. And then come to find out, I, I was naturally good, thank God. Mm -hmm. And I did do my coaching. I did my classes. Mm -hmm. I, I did I everything. Went. When I got into <laughs> yes. it, I went in 110%. Exactly. Yeah. How many people have crashed and burned because... They just want to be seen. They just want to be in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it got just, more than that. Yeah, it, yeah. it definitely I mean, became more than that. But, okay. But, I, okay. but the fact is that being an actor, yeah. you know, what I mean, you want attention. Mm -hmm. You're you're mm -hmm. in front of that camera because you want people to see you. Mm -hmm. True. Okay. You know. So let me interject a thought. Everybody has their own dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And yeah. your dream may be yeah. the audience, which right. your mm -hmm. perspective is not wrong, yeah. it's right. Because mm -hmm. it's not a right or wrong. Right. right. It's, we have different, it's we have a different, different, different motivations right. based yes. on our personality. Yes. Right. Yes. I believe it's what feeds you. Um, I, I started off just yeah. like a military person. Right. My mission and vision was to bring souls to Christ mm -hmm. through film and mm -hmm. also to right. take people who have been in the military. Because yeah. there's so many service members who yeah. look like me who have heroic stories uh -huh. that need yeah. to be told. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. there's a progression that I plan to be a filmmaker one day and I'm going to tell their stories. Mm -hmm. right. And what yeah. better person to tell their stories is someone who had 24 years of military mm -hmm. service. Yeah. And I'm a yeah. veteran as well, so I, I can definitely relate to what you talk. I'm a Vietnam era veteran. I didn't serve in Vietnam, but I was in the military during that period. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. um, thank for you for me, your service. Thank you for yours. So from my perspective, okay. Thank, thank, you, for your service. thank, thank you both. Yeah. Thank you both. Now, from my perspective as an actor, Good. you're absolutely right. From the standpoint of just acting, mm -hmm. then I love when I've done a role well and it's appreciated mm -hmm. by my audience, right? Because yeah. that does give you a feeling that's indescribable in some mm -hmm. sense. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a person overall and how I see society and how I see the responsibility, because see, I went from singing to acting, from acting to directing, from directing to producing. Yeah. Okay. So in that transition, so just laid down the I got right? But see, your mixtape coming out. <laughs> yeah, it'd be out soon. In fact, I'm working on a single in the studio now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, but on, on, on a substantive note, mm -hmm. I started a company called Black Copper Productions for the express purposes of helping yeah. up and coming playwrights mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. get their theatrical production scene. Okay. Right. okay. 2016 when I got my Best Sellers Awards for creating The Current as a part of the Book Masters of Success because I also teach. Right. And so mm -hmm. they gave me a um, America's pre a premier yeah. designation, right? Mm -hmm. So that came with the book and all that. But mm -hmm. I wrote in the book Creating The Current was about the technique that I employ to teach actors to come and deal with the reality of becoming a better actor and yes. understanding the business, yes. right? right. Yes. So my thing personally is your success is always in direct relationship to how many people you're willing to help, help. or That's serve. Yeah. So I look at my company, because now we not only do theatrical productions and produce those, but we also produce films. So I'm on my yeah. second movie now. Yeah. And right. I like I have, I so in those to... things yeah. allow me an opportunity to help other people mm -hmm. live their dream. Yeah, I can mm -hmm. definitely attest to that, having a personality that wants to help and wants to influence and wants to bring people up. I mean, I think just about everybody here everybody. has been on my show, mm -hmm. my radio show, on my TV been on show. show. Yeah, right. You can, you're, you're the next guest. You know you will be. Myself, well, you know, you know, will be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for having me on. <laughs> All right, so, so here's the thing. All right, I have a question, and it's an open question. Yeah. For... Um, your, your person that's looking, that's looking at, listening to what, what we're talking about, yeah. and they say, I'm too old oh. 
Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm too old. Wow. To, I'm too old to get to start things up now, yeah. or you know, I can't memorize all that stuff. Yeah. That, was, that was my excuse. I didn't want to memorize stuff, <laughs> and I write it right. So, yeah. um, no reason why I don't like theater. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But um, and they look at the obstacles. They look at right. the um, the personal um, challenges. Challenges mm-hmm. that they have. Mm-hmm. Um, we talk about mindset and grind. Mm-hmm. How do you get past that to get to where you are now? You just have to have a clear vision. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Lamar, 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 as you know, I'm, I, I work a full-time job. I'm a civil servant. Yeah. Um, getting close to being able to retire. Me too. Um, but I, I put in those eight hours a day. I'm very active in doing, you know, the work that I do, both in the community and social. And really, somebody paid big bucks to come up with just do it. Uh, but that's, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my favorite <question. laughs> that is, That's just, just what I do now. Um, most um, productions, they don't shoot on weekends, so mm. I, I use my vacation time from work, mm. so nothing's free. I, I haven't had a real vacation in five right. years because I use a day here, a day there, mm. a day right. here to do shoots. Yeah. Independent, shoots. a lot of time yeah. is on yep. the weekend, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. but um, it's, it's just always... You make it work, right? I make it work. You make it work. You make it work. You and that's, make it work. that's... that's that's the, that's the key. I mean, yeah. if if you want it, if I gotta say, you gotta want it though. If if you want it, mm-hmm. yeah, and you can get distracted. Okay, yeah. so we have a lot of talent in the DMV. Yes, yes. and you, you can get distracted when you see yeah. some big superstars all over the place, mm-hmm. and they get in those roles that you want. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's first off, it's, <laughs> it should be a distraction. It should be a motivation. motivation. It should be. Yes, it should be. Should be. Yeah. It should be. I agree. Yes. Should and, be. Okay, so. Yes. I'm being the devil's advocate. <laughs> I get all of this, oh, and, right. I, and I totally oh. agree. And, 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 but people think this way. Yeah, but but you know, and that's the reason why. Like, here's the thing: when I started, it was it was a thing of I didn't know how far I was going to go. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. it was a thing I was going into, and I was like, oh, this is cool. But when I once I started rising, my morals in the situation changed. Mm-hmm. Okay, my 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 ideas, my mm-hmm. my views, and you know, um, then it got to be a thing. Of like, wow, I just. I yep. just was on this TV, TV show. Yeah. I was just in this movie. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I, 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 yeah. I can do this. Right. And then it changed from being me to we. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and then it, I, I became, you heard of the, the crab mentality. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I, came, right. I came up with um, what I call the bubble mentality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas though, if you see a bubble in the bottom of the ocean, it rises. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If it runs into another bubble, it does one or two things. Either it pushes it up. Mm-hmm. Boy, it links together and they rise together. Yeah. Right. 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 My man, I like that. Yes. Can, I, can I use that? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Like that. And that's I, not I, I call it. <laughs> I, I call it the bubble mentality. Right. Yes. That's what I'm doing, and everyone in here knows me. Yes. Yeah. And right. knows I don't just talk about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm about it. Yeah. yeah. Because I will help. I will. I yes. will anybody I possibly can. Yeah. Because I want the DMV. I yeah. want. I want. People in general, general especially yeah. people that's going to change what was the basic of Hollywood, yes. the diva. Yeah, uh, let's get that out. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, exactly. let's get that out, and exactly. let's get people in there that's going to help elevate help. us yeah. as a people. Yes. 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 Let me just say yes. one thing yes. about you. Yes. Just one thing about you. I noticed yes. this last yes. night. Yeah, you were in New York yesterday, brother. Absolutely, yep. <laughs> sure was. Absolutely. Right. Mm-hmm. And you did what you need to do, and you yeah. didn't. You didn't just go home and go to sleep. You you were supporting somebody else out there. Mm-hmm. So you preach, and you mm-hmm. practice what you preach. Absolutely. Right. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. right. 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 yeah. you see, absolutely no way I could have done right. anything and accomplished anything that anybody see me do yeah. without the cooperation and the collaboration of other good people. Yes. Right. Because a project, yeah. whether yes. it's a film project or yeah. a theatrical project, <laughs> right. is on the basis of the success is on the basis of the collaborative effort of yeah. everybody involved. Everybody. Even right. the dude that's running to get the coffee. Right. For the director, because yeah, the director's right. got to mm-hmm. take the time and that's to talk to this. I mean, yeah. that's humbleness. That's humbleness. That's exactly. yeah. so important. Exactly. Yes. So I've been on so many sets where it's like maybe the, the, the assistant AD, maybe he has his own script. Mm-hmm. Maybe in the next project he's an actor. Mm-hmm. Maybe in the next project he's mm-hmm. a PA. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, that's, it, what, it, I it's, it's, that's what I love space. about it. That's yeah. what exactly. I love about this business is mm-hmm. that there's no... There's no down here and up here. It's like all, we're all, we all do a little bit of everything. And some smaller productions, 
we might wear many, many hats. Right. Yeah. Yes. Right. So I'm going to ask the filmmakers in my next edition the same question or similar question. Um, as actors, and I'm putting myself on the spot of being picked on mm -hmm. <laughs> as a filmmaker, yeah. all right? Um, what one thing, one thing, and I'm speaking of the thing that drives you crazy every single time you work. You answer this. You answer this. <laughs> right? This. Every single time you work with, um, not an individual, mm -hmm. not, I'm not, but not speaking of an individual. directors and stuff. Yeah, it's something, okay, so most filmmakers, producers, mm -hmm. work behind the scene. They've never been in the front of the scene. They don't get yeah, what it takes been to, to mm -hmm. right? So, and I hear, I hear them talking, you know, um, well, I just want them to show up and do their thing. Well, and we got to put this straight, I'll answer this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> real quick. We got so just one person answered. 50 seconds. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, the question is, um, what is that one thing that, that you would love the filmmakers to consider and change? And then we're going to close this out. Are you up asking this. me? I am yes. Oh, okay. Well, I would say um, preparation. Uh, it's just, it's, it's a pet peeve with me when I come in and everything is all over the place. It's like, it's, it should be certain standards, I mean, across the board. This should be done, that should be done, this should be done. Right. In order, some kind of order. All that chaos, it's got to stop. Right. What do you feel, Keith? I feel uh, people need to have unity, mm -hmm. they take out the clicks, and then uh, be professional whatever you do. Once again, thank you for joining us, everyone. Mm -hmm. I appreciate thank everything. You, like you. I said, we might have to have thank a part you. two. And I also want to be able to bring individuals on and spotlight more of what mm -hmm. you're doing. All right, so thanks for joining us for Kazar Spotlight of the Month. And um, stay tuned for another edition of Kazar as we spotlight filmmakers in the DMV.